Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to Imperion 1.8. I'm Seven Foot Dust Bunny, and as many people have requested in the comments, we will do a full new pl playthrough on the 1.8 to look at the quest changes with the new starts. Here, I've got new land. I've got my seed open. Now, settings. Normally, I mess with the settings but as many people have asked for me not to mess with the settings the only thing I am going to turn on is I'm going to put mass check on so weights and volumes will be a thing and CPU points will be a thing the only other thing I will change for really the benefit of the let's play just in terms of speed is I'm going to knock up the constructor speed to fast and the blueprint speed to fast. It just really helps to keep the let's play moving and keeps away from the grind. But difficulty is going to remain unchanged. Starting equipment is all going to remain unchanged. Same with statistics. I'm even going to leave auto minor depletion on because now with the huge galaxy and traveling around, I feel like auto miners are less of a thing and I've never played with it left on true, so that's really all I'm going to change here. And we're going to go straight on and start on Akua. So here we are making planet fall. It doesn't seem like you can move this much now. It seems to be straight in and it's almost like the point here is predetermined. It's Stranger, you can notice a patch on the ground that almost makes it look like it's predetermined. Emergency situation detected. Robinson Protocol UCH001A initiated. Do you want to activate the tutorial help information system? Okay, so Robinson's Protocol is being offered, but as I have played this many times. I am not going to run Robinson's Protocol. So Robinson's Protocol deactivated. The kit falls on the ground and will apparently remain there for 19 minutes. So let's grab all our bits, even our flashlight. I like the fact it puts bits on the bar, but because it's doing that in terms of things we've actually picked up in the sequence, uh, not so keen on that one. Um, I'll keep those on the bar for now. There's not a lot of odds in changing that. You can't get in to the escape pod anymore. Um, ooh, I've accidentally tapped the wrong button there. So, plans. Let's have a look. Akura is going to be fairly small. There's only going to be iron, copper, silicon, and carbon oddly that has lost its symbol there so slight slight issue right the first thing I'm gonna do is run around and collect hot dogs like a madman Commander, I am Ooh. tracking a faint electromagnetic signal not far away we should investigate as it might be another escape pod or even a trace of the fleet okay we'll do IDA first things first Let's um, make sure we grab some basic resources. I am not sold on the plastic rocks, I'll be honest with you. Um, I was quite happy with rocks the old way. Wow, there's a lot of hot dog plants here and as you can see, it is getting me leveled up super fast. So we're gonna be hammering through our levels here cause I'm gonna nail a whole bunch of these. The other thing I'm going to do is hopefully you're going to give me wood or fibers. Give me fibers. Give me fibers. Oh, wood. Oh, well. But that's okay because we can break that down into fibers if we need to. There are small trees which I think give me fibers. Hello, piece of iron. Thank you. Uh, I think some of the small trees here give me fibers if you zap them that's obviously zapping the ground so that doesn't work yoink 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 I mean <laughs> I'm not kidding that we're gonna be level three in about 30 seconds flat here 
There we go. Level 3. Now, someone said to me in the comments, this looks like a copper turd. Um, now he said it, I can't unsee it. Um, yes, it looks like a turd. Alright, so I think that will give me plant fibers. Which will be handy because it'll let me make another couple of bandages just in case I get attacked by something. IDA seems to want us to go that way over to the science camp. We'll grab those as we go by because those are all plant fibers. And because we've got so much plant protein now and a bunch of plant fibers, uh, that might be overkill. We'll make a whole bunch of bandages so we can heal ourselves up as needed. I'm not going to go crazy on the carbon substrate. There seems to be tons of it. I mean, at least here. So we know where to come back for it if we're running up short. The copper and iron, on the other hand, will be hugely useful. There we go. Give me all those. And the best thing is, grabbing all these constantly gives me XP. Normally, I set the XP progression on slow. Um, just purely to stop me leveling up too fast, because we're going to level up so quickly. And we'll do some bunny hopping here. So, science camp is over by that obelisk we saw. Oh, good God. Okay. Watch out for the cliff. Um, that was almost a poor idea. Right. Still going? Uh, can we have some more bandages? We'll turn that down. We'll grab those. They will go off in my inventory, but I'm going to be munching them fairly quickly. Just to sort of get them up. That is now spice. So we have discovered the obelisk. These buds, you'll see different from the old playthrough. Um, they will give you now two buds. Just a quick mention on the old playthrough. It will continue in the background. Um, it will continue in the Monday patch at spot. Monday spot? Tuesday spot at the moment. Um, because... There's been quite a few requests to keep going on that as well, and I do want to see if I can get the advanced core. So, I'm, I'm going to try and run both for the time being. Okay, this seems to be an old scientist camp. We should search the containers, see if the console contains any valuable information. Uh, okay, basic crap. And, oh, I don't suppose you've got anything deep. You've got um, Tales of, the, of Tash. Damaged data pad. Okay, we'll take that. Oh, hello. The damaged data device. Damaged data device found. Reconstruction of the information in the buffer memory has been partially successful. Should the existing data be read out? Sure, go for it. Oh. I thought it was going to read to me then. We have been studying the artifacts for several years now. There are four of them. One obelisk on each of the moon of this gas giant. We have set up a camp at each artifact and collect, and collect data without end, without making any real progress. The morning, the most boring job in the galaxy. But what else can you do to get ahead? The Xurax have stationed their cogrum here as protection. They said more like watchdogs, I think. Ah, sorry, they said more like watchdogs, I think. They think the artifacts could be useful in the fight against the silence. But at the moment, we're in the dark. We're missing something. Close. Um, we don't need to know where we can see the logs again. So, reconstructed one of six. Sixteen, sorry. Wait, give me that. So, these logs partially corrupted. We can recover information when we find more of, more of them in other places. Information in the console might help. Let's have a look. Hello. All members of the expedition teams report to the responsible base commanders. Maximum alert level applies. Important. All vessel system error. Technician has been informed. Time since message. Whatever that means. 
Select the from the available options below. Wow. Um, okay. Private user, you are logged in. Okay. Uh, planetary risk assessment. The database contains basic information about animals and plants this, on this moon. This is a user administrative database. No guarantee of completeness for their entireties. Whoa. Okay. This has like a whole bunch of information here on the separate planets. I am not going to read all of it. Um, because that would take the entire Let's Play. So there's a bunch of information here. Our homeworld. Already transforming into a sanctuary of the Talon cultures ages ago, it is now only something like the spiritual center of our culture, the seat of the Academy of Science, which we've actually heard about in the previous games, and thus the center of life has long since moved to Zynes, the seat of the government of the Assembly. The Talon are scattered throughout the galaxy, yet they return here regularly. Hopefully it will remain that way for a long time. That's interesting because that sort of ties up with things we already know. Tracker location occur, overview coordinates, uh, operational note, when the location is selected it will appear with a yellow marker, yes, 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 science camp, dig site, oh you can mark these locations on your HUD, okay, um, HUD marker, right? font, font of knowledge, okay we can add that, these all seems like places I should go. So, I'm going to add all these to my HUD. What about the planetary data survey? Database contains basic information about animals and planets. And plants, sorry. This user, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, basic ores can be found. I like the fact it's a bit more pictorial and gives you a bit more information. Very nice, back to previous menu. Is that basically the same? I I, I thought... Oh, I, I must have misclicked for plants. So there's basic plants which give you the following goodies. Which is also handy. I like the fact you can close that if you want. Okay, so back to the previous menu, back to the main menu. Um, private user history logged in. Attention, you are accessing private data. If you are not Tash Akin Talon, then please contact the network administrator immediately. Your account may have been compromised. Okay. As requested several times, I have stored all military relevant findings on the artifact as well as the risk assessments in our operation of the network's reporting database. The entities can be accessed by all consoles in the network on all moons. Hopefully, I'm not going to add any of the science reports though. Um, I do, do, I'm not doing the work again for others to take credit. I hope that by now they have at least unlocked access to the consoles for me everywhere. Okay. Fair enough. So that was that. And the supply bunker is over there. So we have a bunch of mission objectives really to go to straight away. Um, what we probably need to consider doing is getting ourselves going. And the other thing we probably need to consider is actually hitting the scanner, which I haven't done at all. Um, so I probably passed a, recite, uh, uh, a resource already because the escape pod's over there. There's a resource there. There's a resource just over here. Let's check out what this is. Hello. Let's find out what it is. I'm also um, keen to see whether you can still make plastic the old way. I'm assuming you probably can. Um, because otherwise that's going to be annoying. But let's see. Iron. So we've got a small iron node here. Um, let's see if we can't get um, a constructor made. You own 
To make a basic construction, you now only need five carbon substrate. Oh, interesting. That's changed. Um, misc. Give me the misc. Give me all the misc. Is it not in misc? It's not in misc. Yes, it is. We'll take the heater cooler. We don't need it, but we'll take it anyway. Um, we can't get a small vessel yet, but we can make the portable constructor. So let's start that one going. Let's make a couple more bandages. Now, I don't believe, having done a little checking before I did my uh, 1.8 sort of overview, I don't believe you can get into these obelisks. I'm going to have a look. I believe it says you need some sort of matrix key. We'll do some bunny hopping. I'm trying not to bunny hop too much. Stamina's pretty good, though. Um, yeah, it says you need a matrix, a, a key matrix to access this. So, the settlement chief. So, chief settlement or settlement chief. Um, seems to be the next spot to go to. It's fairly close. We can keep the scanner out and do some pinging while we're on, on the way. We've discovered the settlement. It's already getting late. I mean, the view with Crown is incredible. I mean, if you're starting a new game now, this game looks awesome. This appears to be a farm. However, very backwards, no visible technology. Be careful if you talk to anyone. We don't know if they've been, if they've seen us falling from the sky. Try to find out anything they know. Yes. Well, there is a dude here. Let's put the gun down. And let's talk to this guy, Settlement Chief. Hello, sir. Welcome, friend. What a rare occurrence. We haven't seen a visitor from out of town in years. What brings you here? Um, I'm on a search. Sounds important. If I, if I can, I'd be happy to help you out. I have a few questions, if you don't mind. Sure, my friend. What would you like to know? Oh my god, there's quite a few options here. Does the name of that guy mean anything to you? Not really. Although there's a few stories from from a time before the glorious Xurax Empire, almost a millennium and a half ago. The name appears now, now and then in connection with the artifacts in the War of Silence. She probably played an important role in it, but what exactly that is, not handed down. In any case, this Tash is no longer here. I'd be very surprised. Ha! More information should be available to you from the elders on Omicron, our original lovely arid home planet in this system. I didn't think it was arid, but there you go. Well, depending on which of the elders you ask, as we Talon should not have the... do not have the best, or should not have the best opinion of the glorious Xerax Empire, if you believe the law, the Zurax subjugated the Talon and forbade them any higher technology. Whether that is true, I do not know. Either way, since 1368 standard years, the GZE, that's glorious Zurax Empire, I would guess, time system has been in effect in the galaxy, but we are not dependent on the Zurax or anyone else for our way of life. In my opinion, it can stay that way. Same for me. Okay. Have there been any vis visitors with this logo on their suit? As in, my people. Hmm. Let's see. Shows the logo. I like it. Um, hmm. Let's see. No, I haven't s seen it before. No one from Off-World has ever been here in the last few months. Anyway, if you want to find those people, you should look on your original homeworld. Oh, on our original homeworld of Omicron, conveniently located in this solar system. If you've arrived by ship, you've certainly passed pass by there. Ask any of the elders in the world. Um, okay, I have some more questions. Um, can you tell me something about this, about the planet? There is not much to tell. We thank our ancestors for the temperate climate, sufficient rainfall, oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Smaller beasts, 
things that grow everywhere. We thank our, we thank everyone. Okay, thank you. Um, can you tell me something about your people? Sure, I'm chief villager of this settlement. Um, this is this moon, as well as others in the sky, are in a restricted area, so we rarely welcome any visitors, even pirates and other riffraff we don't see often. However, there is not much to get here except some strange artifacts and some remains of ancient times. On other moons it might look different, but we have no contact there and we are not really interested in it. Technology or its application, we do without it as good as we can. Is there anything to discover here? There is something like fields of ruins. Yes, I've seen them in my previous thing. If you see a tall tower on the horizon, you can assume that there are a lot of old walls there. There are artifacts of a species unknown to us. Some of the some of the off-world wonder, worlders must have tried to decipher them a long time ago. Their science station, tech bunkers, bunkers and surveillance camps can still be found. Some people populated by distant by disorientated robots left behind. Maybe these legacies will help you in your search. Funny you should use the word legacies. What else would you like to know? There's plenty to do here in our settlement. Just go to the farms, plantations, ask people. Okay, will do. Thank you very much. It's kind of getting dark. Now, I believe it, it doesn't say anything, but I I wonder if you upset this guy if you take his stuff. It, I, I would guess so. Ah, oh, nice little house. Be nice if he gave himself a real floor. Okay, so for the sake of the video, I'm going to snooze for the night uh, just outside his thing. Yoink. And it's still the middle of the night. Yoink. Okay. And we're off. It's morning again. Um, okay, so there's a plantation just over here, which I think is where we may find some of the new quest stuff. Um, on the other hand, what I probably should have done last night is put down a portable constructor to see if we can make anything. Can we make anything? We can make the crappy motorbike. Okay, here we go. For science, I'm going to make the crappy motorbike. I don't have a motorcycle construction kit, so I'm not quite sure how I made that with nothing. But I'm going to make the crappy motorbike and see if the crappy motorbike is any less crappy. Okay. Uh, no, you still suck pretty much, don't you? You still take half a planet radius to turn. I'm going to back this up so I don't... Screw it, I'm going to leave it there. Right, yeah, look, if I grab these, I'm going to upset the Talon straight away. Let's see what this trader's got. Hello, son. Nice day for some enjoyable farm work, ain't it? Um, can you help me with something? For generations, we've been growing grain on the farms and fields. Unfortunately, our seed is deteriorating due to the constant stretching. We desperately need fresh samples from the wild form unfortunately they are only available in water and beach zones of the swamp areas guarded by dangerous tellura pods will you find us some wild grain seeds four times sure I'll do that for you dude uh, quest log yes remind me later so you've got a quest log you select active mission and away you go I like the fact it does tell you how to do it Okay, don't display this note. Anything else we can do? You can do for us. Um, check open assignments. Wild grains. Okay. Back to overview. Um, back to dialogue. Okay. Can I help you with something? Oh, he also wants two butterfly secretions as well. So, in answer to the person who said, "Why would I shoot a but butterfly?" This is why. 
I'm afraid there's nothing to do at the moment. Please come back later. Okay, no problem. Um, what about to trade? You trade basic food, some health packs. Ah, look, there's small health packs. There must be large health packs. So notice the icon had changed. That's interesting. Okay, so we need to find some wild grain. We need to find some better transport. Um, what, uh, what I should be doing is checking out the resource. Resource, come on! Come on, I must be close enough. Have we got to get off and scan it? That's a medium iron deposit. So I might need to find somewhere to set up a basic base instead of roaming around exploring. Oh god, I'm stuck on a rock! Okay. Fine, I'm going to run the rest of the way. Now, depending on where, what is that? There's like a floating block there. Okay, let's check that out. Quest location found, butterfly catcher. Ooh. Okay, supply bunkers over there. It said quest location found, butterfly catcher. Did you? Did we see a butterfly? I did not see a butterfly. The the butterflies sort of circle you and heal you. Let's go into defensive mode and see if we can't find a butterfly. There's also another resource over there, which might be worth checking out. Just over there. So, oh, there's two. There's quite a few here. That's good. It might be somewhere just over here. We decide to um, set up a small base then. Because it seems to me there's some reasonable resources around. And this would not be a bad spot to set up some bases. Given that there doesn't seem to be any Zurak scumbags on these planets, I'm wondering if you actually get attacked here if you set up an actual base base a base 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 so I am very tempted to pick a spot like in between these two resources like in that little hole there and uh, build a little temporary shelter base that might not be a bad idea I want to build one this time because I want to use the new frames so let's let's say okay this little area here this is going to be home sweet home right near this this silicon deposit let's see I was looking for a nice flat spot this will do right here okay I'm planting my constructor oh my food's gone off okay I cannot build concrete yet, but do the concrete frames, because you've got concrete blocks, steel concrete blocks, there's meant to be like a new concrete frame thing or block frame, so let's have a look at that. Let's grab some rock here, chug, 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 chug. Because I'm hoping, if there was a medium iron over there and that silicon, I'm hoping that other resource over there is going to be copper. Um, oh my god, is this slow now. I like the fact the rock surface is more detailed. I'm glad I've had this time to examine it. But my god. Wow. Okay, you're going to want the survival drill as fast as you can get it if this is how you're gonna have to get concrete because this is slow as a good god okay I'll only I promise if I have to get more this is the only rock I will subject you to oh good lord and uh, right inventory full okay where's me uh, thing what do you mean? My inventory? What? Let me pick up some of it. 
There you go, 192 picked up. There you go. There you go. And uh, 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 I've got disorientated. Yes, 92. There we go. Right, so hopefully concrete blocks. Let's build some concrete blocks. I don't know. Let's build, say, 100. I'm going to need a core, aren't I? Uh, oh, I wish we could drag things over because I'm going to need a core. No, no, I'm not. Oh. I'm an idiot because I'm thinking core, but I actually need a base box, which is basically a core. So it shows you how long I've uh, it's been since I actually bothered to do it this way. So I cannot carry a lot of this at all. This is going to be painful. And I can't do it because it's a core. But I heard there were these new, like, building frame bits. But I don't see anything here. I thought they would be like giant, maybe six by six concrete blocks or something like that. But it doesn't seem to be something you can make here. I don't know if it's a technology. Uh, that's miscellaneous tools. Uh, we can't unlock the drill yet. We can unlock a multi-tool and ore scanner. And we can unlock a shotgun and a assault rifle. Which wouldn't hurt to have at least the assault rifle and take a shotgun too oh my lord I thought I put this on fast did I not put this on fast I'm sure I put this on fast because damn is that slow okay 2,000 years later in the meantime we're gonna go check out that other resource and find out what that is I need to see if I can spot a butterfly because I didn't spot a butterfly earlier. Oh, I heard one of those horrible grasshopper things. Ow! Where, where did you come from? You git. Yeah. I didn't see it at all. I was completely blind. They're still, they, they still exist in game then. Right, let's get pick up some of this copper. Yeah, and there's a small copper deposit, which is also a good sign. It'd be good to have close by. Unfortunately, I do hate those little bugs, and there does seem to be a lot of them at the place I've chosen for my base. But it's only going to be a very temporary, very makeshift base. It's here to basically start us off oh my lord really that has a thousand points that is just ludicrous okay so stupid question if that like mass tiny one has a thousand points what about all these are these a thousand a thousand what about like this gigantic one over here does that also have a thousand? Let's take some carbon substrate while we're at it. And oh, we'll have some confetti moss. You have 50 hit points? Really? You have 50 hit points? <laughs> okay. So, tip. Go for the really hideous rocks. Because those really huge rocks have 50 hit points. And therefore can make you everything you need super fast. The only problem is I now have to find its little that little chunk of rock somewhere here in this mess of stuff so it was near a confetti moss thing 
What the hell is that? Dimple. Dimple don't regenerating. Interesting. So I was over here. I should have, like, shot a chunk of the floor or something so I could uh, see it because it was over by one of these which I empty emptied nope ah so it's over by that one I took dimple don't regenerating I see so it is around here somewhere okay I have a plan where are you I can clear the grass There it is, right there. See? That is how you do that. So I've kind of ruined the look of the grass there. But that's the way it goes. Uh, just over here. Should be start bunny hopping in a minute. Okay, so we have... A base core right now if you want to sink this down you can press page down to sink it down um, I am going to sink it down a little but not a stupid amount actually I am gonna sink it do I want to sink it down a stupid amount no I'm gonna sink it down to there or do I yeah cuz I'm gonna move the core later anyway I like the fact it shifts the grass back that's good bad news is how few blocks I'm going to be able to carry to start off with. So one of the early things I'm going to want to do is get like a container on here. So let's see if we can knock that out for now. We've got 120 odd blocks, that'll be pretty helpful. So if we look around, can we make some sort of cargo container? Um, I want only base stuff for the minute. So I need to unlock the cargo container and all the fuel and all that. Okay. So base, we want to unlock ourselves a small generator just in case we need it. Unlock ourselves a small constructor. Let's unlock the cargo box. I'm not going to worry about the food processor. I am going to unlock the large solar panels because large solar panels are going to be great. And the fuel tank. I don't have enough points. Okay. Um, give me, give me, give me, give me. Okay. Give me a cargo container. In fact, give me two. Give me four solar panels and a battery and we'll work from there for now in the meantime I'm gonna grab some more ore I mean I can look at picking up like large amounts of ore from the deposits but I'm not too worried about doing that just yet that rock's still there it's lasted more than three minutes I'm not that worried about doing that just yet because carrying it is going to be a pain in the ass. So you know you're better off actually just making sure you have a good way of carrying it. I mean this planet is is fairly small. I could use the skipper. Hmm. I could use a skipper, but I'm tempted to fly. And what I'm even more tempted to do, because I'm guessing I probably need to go to each of the moons to get the scientific data anyway. But I'm thinking a small ship with a warp drive is going to be the way to go. So the key here is to get at least a cargo container down which I quite always quite like the look of this one so I'm gonna slap down two of those for now we'll worry about where the rest of it's gonna go 
in a minute. The other thing I should have unlocked, but I haven't because I haven't got the XP and I didn't think about it, is I should have unlocked the Wi-Fi. Because if I put the Wi-Fi on there and stick the solar panel on, I'm laughing. So, answer to this, collect things, kill shit. That's the answer. So if I find any more of those little bugs, I'm going to kill them as well. How much XP do I need? Um, I'm 64% of the way there, which sucks quite a bit. Okay. So we need to pick quite a few things to get going there. But collecting stuff actually gives you more XP than mining ores. Um, as you see, I get 100 XP every time I collect one of these things. Wow, that, the thousand hit points on those. Right, where are you? Get back, you scumbag. Right, let's... Ah! He stunned me. And that actually hurt quite a bit. And he gives me 320 XP. I'm not sure if that's worth it. At the moment. Oh, wrong thing. But I am going to collect some basic resources. I'm going to carry on and sort of just build up a very basic base to get myself started here. But for this episode, I think we are out of time. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you're going to enjoy the new playthrough. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks a lot.